Well, we're continuing experimenting with the special Russian transformer that I put on YouTube a couple of days ago now. Um, thank you, by the way, for everyone that uh, visited and uh, made some comments and whatnot. Um, what we are looking at at this moment is the input and output voltage trace of the transformer. Um, I've uh, inverted the output so that I can cross them. I'm just going to bring uh, the output up in line with the input and uh, you'll probably note there's just a slight volt drop between input voltage and output uh, probably fractions of a volt but it is there. Um, right so we'll bring that back down and uh, I'd like you to note, if you can see the ammeter, it's actually reading 0.2 of an amp, 200 milliamps, uh, and that is the uh, uh, current consumption at uh, sort of offload. And if I uh, disconnect it, uh, you can see that we've lost the output trace from the transformer, still got the uh, input running, um, and uh, the amplifier itself, its circuitry is. Uh, 0 0.06 of an amp, uh, 60 milliamps. Um, okay, so I'm going to reconnect the uh, primary coil. I'm going to back up to 200 milliamps, uh, have an output voltage. Uh, what I've done in the circuit, I've placed um, a 1 ohm, a fairly high wattage, what's 50 watt, 1 ohm resistor. And uh, so I can do some volt drop measurements. Um, as you can see, the load current now has gone up to 220 milliamps. Uh, and as you can see, the bottom trace now is, is basically just looking at the volt drop across the resistor. So I'm now going to uh, increase the sensitivity of the bottom trace, bring it up to 200 millivolts per centimetre. And if we just uh, try and bring that to a gratic here where you can you can see it's uh, it's roughly two centimeters um, or four hundred millivolts effectively volt drop. Um, now the interesting thing is that uh, as you can see we've gone up by point two. If I take the load off again, you'll see the trace. Um, disappear um, as you can see our currents dropped off now open circuit load is 0.2 back to 200 milliamps load current on uh, we've gone up 0.02 of an amp uh, 20 milliamps in other words um, let's just reconnect this properly, pop the scope back on. Um, right, what I'm trying, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, we appear to have a, a slight current gain in the output against input current. Um, I'm going to stick my neck out here a little, and but I'd like perhaps uh, some other um, folk out there to have a, have a look at this um, because this resistor was um, checked with by two different methods for its resistance. Um, I applied a, a steady voltage and noted the current um, doing uh, Ohm's law the over, uh, the over I equals R gave us a uh, a, a value of 1.09 and this resistance was also measured with a fairly high quality uh, resistance bridge and gave a very similar, I think it was 1.07 towards 8 so we're talking um, 0 0, uh, 0 0.01 of a 0 0.01 of an ohm um, so if we take that as uh, as red, calculating 
400 millivolts and 1.09 that gives a result of 0 0.36 300 sorry 36 milliamps I'm, I'm losing my decimal points here um, so the actual what appears to be the current in the output is greater than that of the input um, so another very curious uh, uh, phenomena um, I may be wrong with this one uh, maybe there are some more learned folk who might be able to put me straight but uh, I'm putting this down for the record uh, let's see if somebody can take it apart um, thank you very much uh, uh, one and all and I've no doubt this uh, saga will continue cheers